Hey guys, I'm here with an unboxing of the Tattoo Tarot Ink and Intuition by Mega Munden. Um, and the text is by Diana McMoney Collis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. What it says here is in your future, is your future inevitably etched? Is fate being tattooed onto your skin as you read this? Find answers with this fully functional tarot deck reimagined by contemporary illustrator and tattoo artist Mega Munden. The 78 card deck and booklet are all you need to interpret the cards and conduct your own readings. The future is in your hands. The box is very gorgeous. Um, definitely has this gold gilding, this beautiful eyes lurking out. Um, one thing I will say is I ordered this off of Amazon for a very reasonable price. Um, probably about uh, $15 after taxes and stuff like that, which is amazing. Um, this box is just gorgeous. I mean, look at the detail. Um, it wasn't like wrapped, like shrink wrapped, like some of the decks that I usually get are. So I was kind of concerned thinking, uh oh, is this already like, you know, a used deck? Um, but let's go ahead and open it and see. It's a very nice box, very sturdy. It's a open and on the inside it's got a beautiful red color. So what it says. First thing you come to here is your tattoo tarot and intuition and intuition guide to selecting and reading the cards. Um, it's a colored booklet which is nice. It has pages aren't numbered but you know it's got an introduction here about tarot and the origins and tattooing and um, how tarot has been used historically. It's got conducting a reading, drawing and interpreting cards, and then it has some spreads. The heart, the blooming flower, the third eye insight, and then it goes into the minor arcana to go over the suits, the numbers and the meanings. And then the quartz, um, and then it breaks it down further by the, the, the suits. And then it goes into uh, the major arcana. So let's, um, let's see here, let's take a look. Okay, so the deck itself is shrink wrapped, so that's nice. Look at those backs. I really like that. Decent sized deck. As far as thickness goes, let me see if I can. Oh, of course. I didn't bring the scissors, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm getting it open now. Alright. So, ooh, the card stock is really, really good. It's very, very thick. Feels good. Um, the backs are just gorgeous. Let's see, what do I have that I can compare the size to? Um, I have my after tarot here. So here is the tattoo and then here is the after tarot. So it is slightly wider and just a little bit taller. So it's not that big. This is how it looks like in the palm of my hand. I put that back. All right, so let's get into the cards. I believe this is more of a traditional um, Marseille style um, 
tarot deck, not necessarily um, as the traditional Rider Waite system. So this will be my first one um, that I ordered and I saw it originally on um, the Hermit's Cave, Simon's Channel, YouTube channel, and I just was like, oh, I have to have that deck. So let's, let's get started. Oh, they're not in order. Ugh. I have to put them in order. <laughs> Let me put them in order for you guys. <laughs> and we have the Magician. High Priestess. Ooh, I love this one. I love the color combination of this card. The Empress. Beautiful card. Her face is just looks gorgeous. The Emperor. I like that. I like the way that it's um, shown here. The higher front is this is huge compared to supplicants here. Lover's card. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Chariot and the white and black horse and he's leaning forward. I love the color combination of this almost gold and white and black and kind of like a brown. Justice card. The hermit. Ooh, I love that one. Wheel of Fortune. A strength card. Hanged Man. Death card. I love this death card. Temperance. Beautiful. The devil. Tower. The star card is gorgeous. Look at her. So beautiful, that facial expression, that face is just gorgeous. The moon, ooh, I love the moon too. I love the coloring in the moon. The sun. I love this face in the sun. Judgment card. The world. Isn't she beautiful? Did 
definitely like the color combinations that, that, that was chosen. Now we're into the miners, Ace of Swords. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. I love this spider hanging from the sword. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Piercing through that rose. All these different swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. I love that star in the middle. Nine of Swords with the eye. And Ten of Swords. Okay, so instead of the page, they have a knave. Look at him. He definitely has a very modern haircut and a very modern hairstyle. This eye that's on his neck peering out. And a snake on his wrist. I'm sorry, on his palm, back of his palm. There we have the Knight of Swords. Ready to strike. Queen of Swords, isn't she pretty? She's something else. She is definitely fierce. Now we have the king. Ace of Cups is beautiful, overflowing. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. And then we have the Four of Cups and it looks like there's tears coming from the eye here in the middle. Five of Cups. Six of Cups with the heart. And then your Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups, we got two stars. Sorry, three stars here. And then, wow, look at that. Ten of Cups, look at that, that's gorgeous. The Knave of Cups, look at him. I love the facial expression on him. The Knight of Cups, wow. I like that card a lot. Queen of Cups, wow, she's gorgeous. And the King of Cups, got a little tear there. Interesting. The Wands. Ace of Wands, two of Wands, the brick walls here, 
Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Have this uh, directional wheel in the background. The Nine of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. We have the Knave of Wands. Got the letter here, envelope. The Knight of Wands. Wow, he is protected there, isn't he? Has his helmet with his seeing eye on top. Queen of Wands. The King of Wands. He's kind of got a smirk on his face, doesn't he? Ooh, I love this Ace of Coins. Oh, I love peacocks. That's beautiful. The Two of Coins. Sun, the moon, and the scales. Three of coins. Four of coins. Five of coins. Oh, I love that skull in the middle. Six of coins. Got a letter here, something being passed. Seven of coins. Eight of coins. Nine of coins. And the Ten of Coins. Look at that knave. A knight. Tiger or dragon tattoo on his neck. Queen of Coins. Oh, I love the Queen of Coins. And then finally we have the King of Coins. Look at him. Alright, so that's the deck. Overall, I really like it. I think I, I like the, it looks kind of um, aged. You know, it's not like white. It's kind of like an off-white in the background here. Cardstock is very nice, very nice. Let's just read what it says. Let's just pick a card and see what it says here. So let's pick do, 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 the star. Let's pick a, the star card and see what it says in the book. Okay, so the star card says... Hope, bright promise, faith, recovery, gifts. Symbols of immortality, light of the spirit, light 
at the tongue's end. Good prospects, new dawn coming, frustrated expectations. Hmm, that's an interesting one. So yeah, I mean, you know, for for the price, I mean, under $15, I mean, you get this beautiful deck. I mean, cardstock is amazing. The, the size of it is nice. Feels very, very, very durable, very sturdy in the hand. It's a thick deck. I mean, and the images are just like, just gorgeous with the coloring and the tattoo style and the traditional feeling of it. It's just amazing, but yet it's yet modern. It brings it to modern times with these modern haircuts and these tattoos. It's really nice. It's really nice. I'm very, very happy with it and excited to start working with it. This is my first deck of this style with this uh, Pip, Pip Cards. So I'm interested to start working with it. And, um, you know, let me know what you guys think of this deck as well. Thank you. See you later.